her as somebody and everybody else. Because she is a young girl. Now her birth certificate in mathematics would say she's 13, but she looked 20. <laughs> and I want you to know that her mom, Darlene, gets a hand clap from me for recognizing her daughter's talent and fostering her to do what God has given this girl to do. And just in case y'all didn't know, she can sing too. Oh! Uh-huh. So I just want you to know that she is also the 2024 Rockford Youth Poet Laureate. Yeah. That is a great, great position in our city. And it lasts four years. And as Trinity is coming now to share with what God has given her to tell us, I just want you to know her being on the Coronado stage tonight is just the beginning. Yep. How about a hand for Trinity Roy? I'll be sharing to you tonight a poem of mine called Years and Years. Years and years of being outcast. Years and years of being viewed as a threat. Years and years of being looked down on. Years and years of being the white man's pet. Years and years of getting zero respect. We're all equal, but who is we? I'm not you, no, I don't have blue eyes and blonde hair. Every time I walk into a room, people stop and stare. Is my melanated skin a crime, or doesn't it make me worth a dime? My hair might not be straight and blonde, but it's valid. Who are you to determine what I can and can't do? We're equal, you say. Then why are my people being beaten until they draw their last breath? Why does it not matter when a black family has a death? Why are we getting zero respect? Harriet Tubman, Martin Luther King Jr., Ruby Bridges, more and more. All their efforts, yet we're still treated poor. When? When will it stop? <laughs> When will you take your blue eyes and blonde hair and realize that you don't have to stop and stare? When will you realize that I'm a person too, that I'm not a threat to you? I shouldn't be seen as a black girl. I should be seen for what I am, a person. Not an object, not a maid, not a criminal, not a punching bag, but a human. Black history, his story, our story. We live on, hardly getting away. <coughs> We fight just to survive because we don't have blue eyes and blonde hair. Why? Why must we fight? Why must we fear for our life while walking the streets at day or night? Whipped and whipped. My ancestors have stripes on their back. Every day they were under attack. Centuries later, and we're still being beaten. Police officers bringing us to our knees. No freedom until we're equal. I guess freedom will never come. Run through the Underground Railroad, run from the cops, it seems like the run will never stop. Melanin is not a crime, how hard is that to understand? Punishing me because of a curly hair strand? Because I'm different? Why can't you just let my melanated skin shine? Why? After years and years of beating us until our heart beats one last time. Years and years of you walking all over us. Years and years of you seeing us as animals, something you don't believe deserves respect. Why? For power, glory, or because you just don't like that I'm different from you and breathing? We see her not just as, black, as a black girl, but we see her as a great person. And guess what? She is on her way straight up. Oh, I know this is a got a little stingy. Let me say it one more time. Trinity is a fantastic person, and she is about to expand her horizon. And she's about to grow and go and go. And I just wanted to grab her because y'all already know I'm trying to get her in the Yes Club, right? <laughs> Thank you so much. Everybody, how about another hand for this one?
wonderful talent.